pet. I hope you haven't forgotten your mambo. Well, it's a little bit like swimming. You throw a man in the water, he'll swim. He doesn't want to drown, you know. I'm not sure I like the comparison. Steve, you trying to be a crusader with an unknown band such as the Comets. Tony Martinez is going to be the top novelty outfit in the country. That's why he's doing business. After he finishes here, he goes to the West River Club with the Platters Vocal Group. It's a hot group. Martinez gave the public something new. That's why they want him. Now, Haley's got something new, too. But, Corrine, I, I'm not an amateur in this business, you know. I didn't just get off of the bus. I've been around a little while. I think I can pick a winner as well as the next guy. Picked a few in your day. Then why don't you do this? Book the Haley combo into the right place. Give him a showcase. And give Lisa John and her brother a chance to demonstrate the dance. This Lisa's a doll, you know. Looks great. Young, fresh, sparkles. She can't miss. Just how old is this doll? Well, she's 20, 21. What's the difference? I'm not sure I know. Suppose we forget about the dance act and talk about the band. But they work together. Look, it takes a great dance team to demonstrate rock and roll. The young folks all over the country want to see how it's done so they can do it too. Now, if it's demonstrated right. And if I don't book the band and the act? Then there's other agents. You know better. We'll manage. Shall we leave now? Still stubborn. Let me think overnight about Mr. Haley in the comments. We can decide in the morning, huh? playing our song. I never heard it before. Then from now on, it'll be our song. Come on, Dad. Come in, please. Mm -hmm. That booking for the Mansfield School for Girls up in Hartford, two weeks from today. A graduation prom. Tony Martinez plays the day before he goes to the West River Club. We still need an inexpensive band to alternate with Martinez. Yeah, something high class. This Mansfield School is the most exclusive in the country. Calls for a real sweet combo. You know, heavy on the violins, light on the brass. The booking mean much to us? One shot. Some of these one-nighters are more nuisance than they're worth. That's what I was thinking. I have the alternate band. Who are they? A new combination. They're called Haley's Comets. Soft music, sweet, refined. Just the thing for the dear little girls of Mansfield. OK, boss, if you say so. You know how they'll be received as well as I do. I think I know just how they'll be received. You know, these, uh, these lily white hands are working too hard. So you'd rather put them in dishwater? Maybe you'd like playing housewife. Look, boss, we're in the right business. We could write beautiful music together. We could book ourselves into heaven 52 weeks a year. Mm -hmm. Such nice words. Steve could never think of something like that to say. Steve Hollis? He's in town. I suppose I can wait for you as long as you can wait for him. I'm changing my campaign. I'm going to play rough. You think that'll get him? I don't know. But I'll know a lot more when we go to Hartford in two weeks to hear Haley's comments. I know that precious conscience of yours, Mike, so I'm not going to ask you to take care of this. Must be pretty bad if you don't entrust it to my conscience. I shudder at myself sometimes when I think of the things I do. It's so nice to have power. OK, OK, I'll be your straight man. What are you cooking up this time? The agency has a lot of friends, Mike. And you're going to use them to keep the comets from working. You're going to blackball Steve. In impolite circles, it's known as luring the boom. Kareen, Confucius say, woman who want man thinks of a thousand ways to make him love her, and no ways to make him hate her. That's because Confucius was a man. When Steve hates me enough, he'll know that he can't live without me. Oh, 
Well, so what's the score? We've been in New York about two weeks. We've had about two dozen turndowns, and we got about two dozen bucks left to our name. You put two and two together, and what do you get? Two, two. Depressing. If I were old enough to believe in fate, I'd say it was against us. How do you like that? Even the radio's singing the blues. They make a fortune singing about trouble. We spend a fortune getting into it. In short, we spent our roll on rock and roll. This is yours truly, Alan Freed, the old king of the rock and rollers, speaking to you directly from the West River Alan Club. Freed. Where we're Steve, our rock and roll doesn't that ring a bell with you? And appearing here in person. If it does, I didn't hear it. I've been counted out, pal. No, no kidding, Steve. Alan Freed is emceeing the show at the West River Club. Remember when he was running the Alamo Theater down in Texas? The Alamo Theater, yeah. Well, you loaned him a thousand bucks to put on a show. Corny, you don't think often, but when you do, you make up for lost time. Honey, run over to your place and put on something pretty. We're going stepping. The West River Club? Yeah. There's just one thing I've got to say to Mr. Alan Freed. What's that? Remember the Alamo. <laughs> Forget it. All right. So I was wrong about the comets and your Lisa Johns. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make you a deal. Turn your contract with the unit over to the agency and you come in as a partner. Split 50-50 with me on everything. Sell my outfit to you so you can sell them down the river? You'll never get a deal like that anywhere else. Maybe not. Now, Corrine, I think your idea of a partnership has too many strings attached. Then it's no soap? No soap. What do you want? Bookings. The best you've got. What if we make a three-year deal without a partnership? For the Comets, the dance team, and the Bellboys. With a good chance that I'll get them on records. You're starting to make a little sense. I'm prepared to make such a deal with the unit opening in San Francisco. Tell you what I'll do. I'll talk to the kids and I'll get back to you. They're smart. They'll take it. It'll guarantee their future. Mm. It won't do your future any harm either. Hmm? See you later, honey. OK. Get me Lisa Johns on the phone, please. I'm sure you didn't ask me to have lunch for social reasons, Miss Talbot. Steve told you about the deal, of course. Yes. You know what that three-year contract can mean to you and the boys? A hundred thousand the first year, two hundred thousand the second, and three hundred the third. It seems almost too good to be true. There's one thing, however. You're an investment leaser. You'll become an idol of the teenagers. You'll develop a big public, hundreds of fan clubs. College boys will be voting you the girl they'd most want to get caught in a compromising situation with. My agency will be spending a fortune on your publicity and exploitation. The bigger you and the boys become, the more money we'll all make. But you're the only girl with the outfit. The only one that means S-E-X, like a movie star. I want my investment protected. Of course, I can understand that. All right, then, these are the facts. If you get married, you won't be worth a darn to me or yourself. The kind of public you're going to get won't want to think of you as a married woman. In short, you'll have to sign a clause that for the life of the contract, three years, you will not marry. For the life of the contract, I'm not to get married. That's what the contract would say. Exactly. I don't know why you're worried, Miss Talbot. No one's asked me to marry them. He hasn't? I mean, they haven't? Just the same, you never know when some man is going to come out from under a rock and pop the nasty question at you. You'll have to sign that clause, or the deal is off. If I kept all the boys from making a lot of money just because I wanted to be married, I'd certainly be a terrible heel, wouldn't I? The heeliest heel that ever was. How long will it take to make up the contracts? Four days, five, perhaps. I'll get on them right away. All right, Miss Talbot, I'll sign the contracts just the way you want them. I knew you were smart. Then it's all settled. You and the boys leave for San Francisco at the end of the week. Fine. Just one word of advice, Lisa. Have fun. You'd be amazed at the number of men around the country who don't want to get married.